Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we've arrived in Mulfrey. Mulfrey on Anglesey. What a wonderful property with a fantastic little trickle of water running through it. And look at that fella. Look at that beauty. And just here, have their little, um, their little cenotaph. Gorgeous. An Anne's Pantry. Now me and Annie at work, we know an Anne's Pantry. We use it every Thursday and Friday for magnificent hot sandwiches. Anyway, let's get a little wander around Mulfrey. There's the ocean. Look at them great properties up there. Look at them, look at them. Well, so far, gorgeous place. And you'll see ice cream. If only it was open, but then again it is cold. Ish. And just up yonder is Willafan RNLI. Sea Watch. And it is up by a hill. It's a massively steep hill, goes right up yonder. And uh, we'll go up there and look at the Kimmel Arms. Fab. Beer garden and pizza. What a quaint little pub. What a quaint little pub that is. Lots of little, little side roads, little nooks and crannies to be had. There's plenty of fantastic walks around here. If you've got the energy and the muscle power, because it is quite hilly. It's getting a bit cloudy now. It was glorious before. Got a glass frontage there so you can sit out and watch the sea. Wonderful. One of those wicker chairs on a chain. Never seen the attraction to them, but there you go. I like that one up there. Lovely. Ton of solar panels on this one. Ton of them. Some lovely little stone ones right in the middle. A fabulous little, uh, little cottage. That diggy little one on the corner there. I wonder if that takes up part of that building or is it that just a tiny little one and that a big one? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. I'm going in. No, I'm not. <laughs> nice whitewash. Me and Les are gonna get a boat out in a bit and go uh, go paddling and rowing out there. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. The water pouring out of there, that's where that little stream is. Up there where that property is. What comes out there? I wonder where it comes from. Fascinating. Oh, I love it. Love it. Ooh. What a glorious, glorious view. In fact, I'm going to get my phone out and take a picture of that to take home. Nice little seating area. Has the microphone come on? I don't think it has. <laughs> but there you go. I wonder if this was uh, constructed in memory of somebody. Can't really tell. But it's certainly nice to sit at and just watch. Take in the breathtaking views and relax. But believe you me, climb on down these hills. You will need a rest at some point, without a shadow of a doubt. Didn't realize just past this one, <coughs> there's another one a bit higher up. So you can get an even better view. Well, this fellow's struggling, he's struggling, is he going to make oh, it? No. I'll wait for someone to come down. Treacherous man, treacherous. You don't drive around here at high speed. Do you know where the Coast Guard station is? Yeah. Just up there. You just passed just it. Just up there, you've passed it, just up there on the right hand side. There is a sign that we're going to go up there afterwards. <laughs> so, yeah, that's where it is, my mate. Take care. How good are we? We don't even live here. <laughs> What's over here? Let's, let's go down here. Oh, Pebble Dash, Pebble Dash. Oh, it reminds me of council estates. Not the one I was brought up in, in Liverpool. Call the whitewash. Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, that's that jewelry. That's a jewelry and something, something, something. Clothing. On the round here because you're going to get some spectacular views, so be ready. Now, if the wind noise is <coughs> muffling my, my voice, sorry about that, but my, uh, 
it's still a max packed in for some odd reason and it was fully charged this morning but look at these little properties here how wonderful is that and just over there is the lifeboat station I'm gonna go and have a look at that because I'm intrigued oh am I brave enough to get on that wall get onto them rocks jump onto that one there no I'm not I can get a better view now of that tunnel over there in the rocks where the water's coming from that property brilliant brilliant right I must have off to the lifeboat yeah it's getting a bit windy now and it's oh my microphone don't know what's wrong with it something is check it out when I get home what do you think of mold free up to now on the out of angle see oh there's, there's steps here leading down the rocks there's steps there's plenty of seats in bring a picnic oh yeah oh yes get down here The only further it's getting a bit steeper. Look at that man, yeah! Is that a jet ski out there? No, it can't be, it can't be. They're just boys, aren't they? Or other girls? Do you never can tell. Well, there's something under construction there. All well, those seats there have memorial plaques on them. I want to have a closer look, but there's a chap sat there. And uh, it may well be husband or father or deceased I don't know so I'm not going to interrupt him lobster pots lobster pots this little walkway apparently goes to the lifeboat centre these huge gardens but where's the properties that they belong to I don't get it they're massive Mulfrey. Yeah, there's loads of seats by the ocean so you can sit and relax. Whoa! Wow, there it is! There it is! Can you hear me? It's bloody windy. Bet that by the ocean though, wouldn't you? Okay, let's get a bit closer to the statue up here. And have a look at the uh, RNLI visitor site. And Royal Charter, wrecked on this coast, 26th of October 1859. And this tragedy claimed hundreds of lives. Hundreds of lives. Oh, well, look at that. That is one amazing sculpture. Amazing. Look how small and puny the ship looks amongst the waves. How vulnerable. I'm not sure where that feather is. There's more information. Visit Mulfrey on a stormy day, and you'll appreciate why there have been so many shipwrecks over the years and why Mulfrey has such a proud lifeboat tradition. Visit the Sea Watch Centre or Lifeboat Centre to find out about the dramatic rescues and acts of bravery of local lifeboat men. Yep, they certainly are, were, still are. Incredible. And here, I must have said you've got to get this. There we are, the Royal Charter. 400 people returning from a prosperous voyage to Australia lost their lives in 1859 when the ship ran aground during a great storm on treacherous rocks just 50 yards from 50 yards from land. 50 yards from land. Oh my God! <clears throat> so close, so bloody close. The few survivors were hauled ashore by 29 villagers, 
in the beginning of the community's proud history of heroic sea rescues. Good God, man. Amazing. Just amazing. There's a lifeboat in there. <coughs> so look at this statue here. I didn't do a job like this in them days, hey? Didn't have the equipment we do today. In the 1800s, I should imagine, it was a lot more perilous than it is in this day and age. So God bless them all. And his glory is one of the old lifeboats. Look at that beauty. Don't like what they're doing now, but that's controversial. I'm not doing that. Wow. Look how long he's been in there. Mm. Look at the rudder on that. I've never been close to one of today's lifeboats. I don't know whether they, they differ much from this. I can only imagine they do. They'd be engine powered. Seventy-seven to eighty-six. Look at the difference. There isn't any. It's the same as the one that's there. Oh wow! Look at the radios. Position myself it out and to concentrate on the camera, so see it a bit. I didn't live in a house like that. Oh, even in the winter, I'd love it. And you can watch the stormy ocean, it's right outside your back door. And here's the lifeboat launching station up ahead. So, a quick look at that, then I'm running out of time. Got to drive back to Max, take about two and a half hours. I've got some washing to do. <laughs> Yeah, you wouldn't believe it, would you? I do all my own washing, all my own cooking, all my own cleaning. Travesty of justice, that. Outrageous, I say. I wouldn't have it any other way, believe you me. The sea looks almost... bluey, turquoisey, uh, colory. What do you reckon? We're at the st station. Station? Station? Corky, mate. Going Australian. And this way, to the lifeboat. We can go up there, the door is open, so I'm going to go in, because this is where it's launched from. I want to see how it all works. And this is the modern lifeboat, a bit different to the other we saw. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. What a difference to the old ones, what a difference. I imagine they were a lot safer in these than they were in the old ones. All computerised, it's just as if you can't see the computers inside, there are computers in there. With some sort of satellite navigation and devices. Lectures. Oh, high up off the ground. Look at look at Look at this, this boat, ship. It's brilliant, man. There's the ramp straight out into the ocean. Oh, look at the difference between this and what we just viewed. Good lord, man. There's one, two pilot seats there. Incredible. Quite breathtaking, really. Never been this close to a lifeboat, ever. 
There's a trap up there already. Look at that. Look at that. I'll be taking it out. I doubt it. I'm going to stick around just in case they are. I'm pretty sure if I had to pilot one of these, that'd be my seat. Totally exposed to the elements. That's just my luck. <laughs> well, that is the end of my tour of Molfri. I've just been told the Welsh pronounce it Molvre because it's one F and they pronounce one F as V's, so it's Molvre. But I, I say Molfri. Anyway, let me know what you thought of Molfri. It's a glorious day. So, so lucky not to have pouring rain. But I thoroughly enjoyed being here, thoroughly enjoyed it. I will come again. I love Anglesey, it's a glorious place to visit. So, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Support me and the Pie Master. We need all the support we can get. Anyway, Pie Master's making very much of the car. So, there we go. That's where I'm going. Take care all. See you soon.